Hey guys, John with NRSNG.com. Thank you so much for visiting. Today we're going to talk really quickly about Parkinson's, Parkinson's disease, what it is, what are going to be some of our treatments for our patients. So first of all, to get started, this is kind of a frontal section of the brain, looking in on the brain. Um, and to understand what Parkinson's is, we first need to realize that Parkinson's is really the result of decreased dopamine within the brain. Okay, so dopamine is controlled by the substantia nigra. The substantia nigra are located in the midbrain, bilaterally there, and what happens with Parkinson's disease is this, the cells in the substantia nigra are unable to secrete dopamine. They're not, they're not creating dopamine anymore. Okay, so what happens as we decrease this production of dopamine is that we become less capable of controlled movement, okay? So to understand dopamine is one of the neurotransmitters in the brain. We know that we have our neurons, okay? And these neurons, what they do is they send impulses between each other to tell you know, the body what to do. And one of our neurotransmitters is dopamine. Okay, so as dopamine, as a neurotransmitter, what it helps, it has multiple functions, but one of its functions is to help us with controlled movement, to be able to control our movements and be able to, to make those fluid movements and things like that. So what happens as we lose this ability, this dopamine, obviously what's gonna happen is we're not going to be able to make those controlled movements. Okay, so we have this decrease of dopamine and due to destruction of the substantia nigra, and that results in um, inability to make kind of controlled movements, among other things. But this is what you're going to be tested on. This is what you need to know. Okay, so some of the symptoms, keeping this in mind, some of the symptoms are going to be tremor. Okay, the patient's going to be tremoring because they're not able to kind of keep that still because they have decreased levels of dopamine. Muscle rigidity, bradykinesia, which is slow movement. You'll see your patient kind of will move slunched over and very slow, and instability. Some of the things you'll see on your patient too, they're gonna to test you on uh, pill rolling. We'll kind of just sit here like this and just move it their hand like that. That's called pill rolling or lip smacking. They'll do this just a lot. And they're just not able to kind of control those movements. Those just happen due to this decrease in dopamine. Okay, so very simply, if we have decreased levels of dopamine, what's going to be our goal? Our goal is going to be increase dopamine levels or to allow the patient to have those controlled movements again. How are we going to do that? Well, one of the biggest complications with any types of neurotype medications is that we have the blood-brain barrier. Okay, so because of the blood-brain barrier, it becomes very hard to get medication into the brain. Now, understand the blood-brain barrier is not an actual physical structure. The blood-brain barrier has to do with the way the vessels are structured in the brain and that they're very protective about what is allowed in and out of those vessels. It's not an actual structure. It's not something that actually sits here and controls what comes in and out. It's more within the blood vessels and the brain itself. So one of the, there's different kinds of drugs that can be given for Parkinson's. The one we're really going to talk about are going to be dopamine agonist. Okay. So dopamine agonist is really the type of drug we're going to talk about. The primary drug, the most common one, the one you're going to be tested on is going to be levodopa carbidopa. Okay, what is levodopa carbidopa? Well, levodopa actually has these dopamine agonist properties, but it's not able to cross the blood-brain barrier. So it becomes combined with carbidopa, which allows it to get in to the blood-brain barrier where that's broken down, and then levodopa goes into the blood-brain barrier and can help with these symptoms of decreased dopamine in the, in the brain, okay? 
So that's really the basics of Parkinson's. What I would remember is just keep in mind what it is specifically, that it's due to a decrease in dopamine. Okay, well, what does dopamine do? Dopamine helps with our fluid movements, our controlled movements. Okay, well, if we don't have that ability, what are gonna be our symptoms? Tremor, muscle rigidity, bradykinesia, instability, pill rolling, lip smacking, things like that. Okay, well, how are we gonna fix that? We're gonna give dopamine agonists, specifically levodopa, carbidopa, to try to correct that, okay? So that's really the basics of what you need to know with Parkinson's. There's a whole lot more here, but that's what I would study, and that's what I would know when you're studying, okay? Thank you for visiting. Check out the blog, nrsng.com, and you can see all of our books up on Amazon, nursingstudentbooks.com. If you like the video, please subscribe uh, and share the video. Thank you so much. Have a good day.